Jan. Back to you, Jan. Thanks, Lisa. Nice job there. Crayolas. I remember uh, using those back in my childhood. Absolutely. I still do. Do you? Well, I'm not talking about it. Oh, okay. Fine. I use colored pencils now, but I'm going to try Crayolas again. Andy Jones, three pins, over the six train. But she may have hung up a little bit and uh, had bounced a couple of times before it got into a, a good solid roll, but what a good result. She's using quite a bit of the lane right now. She's in the hook mode, but as we saw, you know, with Carol Jane Audi, we know money. That looked good this week. Wendy's trying by three. She can take the lead with a strike here. Ooh, a little bit of a fast eight. A little bit of a bounce again. You know, it is warm in here, Lisa. I don't know if the players are losing the ball or if they're swelling and hanging up in it. I would say that their hands are swelling a little bit. They probably have to take a little bit of tape out of the ball, get a little better feel. Now we're going to see a couple of bounces before it rolls. And that can have uh, any number of effects on the flow of the ball. The birds is fairly and very up by three, but looking on the strike. She can take it to 13. Uh, we have a minute. I want to thank Mike Germani, the manager here at AMF Parkway Lanes. He did a great job and put together a big group of uh, volunteers. Special thanks to them. They were here all week providing us with food, drink, helping us whenever we needed it. Thank you very much. Excellent job. I've known Mike and his family for uh, almost 20 years now. Great family. However, it's our first time here. Mike DeFerio Sr., our adult pro-am winner from Pinewood Lanes in Ardmore. Had a big pro-am here. Two days of pro-ams, constant. He ends up by 13. On a double can make it 23 with one more strike. It's taking her time, and that's, a, that's also a big point for Leanne. She has to take her time. When she gets rushed, rushed she does not make a shot. So when she takes her time, she can get a good result. And a big break on that one. Looking out the floor, that's all the time. She's saying thank you, and keep going. Absolutely. Oh, look how high that ball is, Jim. I think I saw the uh, four, six, seven, ten standing there for a second. It was there for just a minute. Career earnings. Boy, look at that. Almost seven hundred thousand dollars. How that ball just stepped up, tripped up, floating again. You know, Wendy said she tried a lot of things, changed a lot of things, trying to change her luck, keeping her superstition. She changed them around. Now, when she said that to us last night, Lisa, you said but you make your own luck. Now, how do you do that? Because I know I want to know, and everyone at home wants to know. <laughs> well, my staff haven't shown the cards <laughs> too good lately either, but how you do it is, is practice. Hard work, practice. Your swing is going to get loose. Your mind is going to be positive. You make your own luck. Good things happen. Okay, I'm going to try it. Well, I know you practice a lot, though. Leaving a 310 split, 80 split here. It's looking up about uh, 10 feet earlier than normal there. It may really be breaking down. Could be a fair amount of play now at the same area of the lane. Excellent spare. Perfect way to convert that. And you notice that she did lose the ball that she was throwing on her first ball because uh, she didn't want to risk the chance of sliding by the three pin and only getting the ten, so she used it to uh, use the first ball, hooked it in there a little bit. Good point. Mean in high game 279, low game 169. This made a couple of marks here, really, to shut out Winnie McPherson, but the bottom line, that's Winnie could shoot, is 226. Leanne's going at 238 pace if she marks out and feels 20 in each frame. 
Well, she has a relatively easy spare here and needs to uh, focus on her shot in the tent. Now, talk about luck. Nan felt she was lucky this week, just in effect of the draw, as did most of the players on the telecast, because she was able to bowl the last round down at the low end of the house. She felt that was a great draw for her. That seemed to be a plus this week. Nan Barrett leaning about 22 pin. She's going to step up in the 10th. She's going to need a mark because if she would go 9 out, she could shoot to 26 and we could have a tie. Mark here will shut out Wendy McPherson for finals. see that twinkle in the eye and you know that she's got a pop of winning the tournament. She said the lower scoring this week was better for her and I kind of find that strange because she's a big shooter. She shoots big numbers. You wouldn't think a lower scoring event would be the week it would be better for her. And it is funny because she said that she can't keep up in the high scoring events. Now, if, if that's not going to be able to keep up, I'll tell you, she's got such a powerful cycle. Leanne Barrett defeats Randy McPherson to Thomas and wins the right to face our tournament winner, Kill Jim Roddy Block, for the championship. Don't go away.